at Hacienda Ruyan in the high mountain hills of Lares, Puerto Rico. And look at this beautiful view. This is an old coffee plantation. It's not really being used um, too much right now, but it, it is still um, in operation somewhat. But look at this old style Hacienda. Beautiful view. of a mix of uh, architecture, old style concrete work mixed with some old woodwork. I love these banisters. Oh. The billiard ball. Used to be working, now it's for the birds. Garita, like they, they have in uh, San Juan, a lookout century po uh, post, and then there's some stairs here. It's very nice of Don Jaime to allow us to explore his hacienda. Oh, some grass up here. And there's the little lookout point. of the monarch butterfly, a type of milkweed. Uh, there's a couple different types here in Puerto Rico. There's also a purple one, but this is a yellow and orange one. The bees are visiting it right now. Miren, ¿qué es esto? ¿Cómo se llama? Melaza. Why, why did he say that? Esta es la casa de Melaza.
Just beyond the hacienda that we visited is this uh, cemetery, the Cementerio Municipal de Rio Prieto, the barrio, up here in Lara. So it's way high up above everything. What a beautiful place. And as you can see, it has some of the typical style of uh, cemetery that you'll see in most of Puerto Rico where they're above ground. Um, because oftentimes with this, the amount of rain that it gets here and the type of soil, you probably wouldn't want to bury the bodies below ground. So this is a very common uh, style of tombs and, and throughout all of Puerto Rico, but especially up in the high country. time ago, I think it was about 2007, we first came to Puerto Rico and found a property that we really liked and it was this one um, here in Lares. It was a, a 25 acre farm deep in the heart and since we're in this neighborhood, this Rio Prieto neighborhood, we thought we'd try to find it and it looks so different. There used to be a big bridge uh, that was made out of wood that you could actually drive a car over. And then up there was kind of an older house. And then to the side, there was a little casita that we stayed in when we stayed with the, the previous owner, Alwilda. And then over here, this is still here. They had like a horse fair every Sunday. I think they probably still do. And, but this neighborhood has really changed a lot in, in those, what, 15 years or so. Oh my gosh, this is so different. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of land. And we were really sad that we weren't able to buy it because the title wasn't uh, wasn't quite uh, worked out at the time. But it looks like whoever bought it has made some major changes because there's like a, a huge, almost like plantation manor house up there now that didn't exist when we, when we were attempting to buy this property. Wow, this is pretty cool. What memories. 